Hello, everybody. How's it going? How's everybody doing out there? Yep, we are going live stream right here. This is Big Kenny. This peace, love, and happy hour is coming on. There's uh, Kate and, and Becky and Amanda. Hello, y'all. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Roger Miller. Oh, what a great name that is. Raven. Yeah, yeah. Raven K. Abel Gibb, uh, Noni, Tina, Jeremy, Steve, whoa, dudes are rolling in here now, come on with it, bring it on, the party is beginning, yes, brothers and sisters, it is peace, love, and happy hour, yes, well, we're bringing you an hour of, of kick back in good time and peace, love, and lots of happy, happy, happy hour, man, super excited that tonight, yes, tonight, coming on, 7.30, Miss Tanya Tucker is going to be joining me. Man, wow, whoa, off the charts. I can't wait. So, um, what's everybody been up to this week, man? I mean, how, how's it going out there? I trust you're doing good because we're still here. We're still all here. So that's a lot right there, and that's a lot to be thankful for, right? So, um, you know, no doubt we uh, continue to count our blessings this week. And, um, man, it's just uh, glorious to see everybody. Uh, here again and uh, uh, you know what a crazy crazy uh, another week it's been but um the future's bright brothers and sisters the future's bright yeah yeah uh, this was uh, one I think was requested last week I thought I'd just uh, play a couple songs you know kind of get things rocking <laughs> I didn't listen, paid no attention You set a face from a place like this, never gone too far Said you'd never see the bright lights, you're just a small town red light mm, You better get your head right before you fall down hard And they're pulling me left, pulling me right Hold it in the center and I don't think twice Keeping up a steady road on this freedom road Yeah, they build you up They tear you down You can lose your mind in this crazy town The only peace I know Is on this freedom road Yeah Might have come from nothing I was born to be something I ain't walking, I'm running and gunning And I'm riding Doing what I believe in, mm, American dream. It ain't always easy, but the Lord He's got my back, and they're pulling me left, pulling me right. I hold it in the center, and I don't think twice. Keeping up a steady road on this freedom road. Yeah, they build you up and they tear you down. You can lose your mind in this crazy town. The only peace I know. On this freedom road, yeah. yeah. All the way I go down this freedom road, and they're pulling me left, pulling me right. I hold it in the center, and I don't think twice. Keeping up a steady. On this freedom road Yeah, they build you up And they tear you down You can lose your mind in this crazy town The only peace I know Is on this freedom road Yeah, there's peace I know On this freedom road Oh, there's peace I know On this freedom road Yeah, yeah, there's peace I know on this freedom road. Yes, brothers and sisters, we are still traveling the freedom road. You know, I might be here at home, but when it comes to playing music, I'm getting ready to take a journey down freedom road. I'm looking forward to having all y'all take a journey down there with me, man. Now, this is just, it's, it's so cool to have this kind of communication uh, with, with so many wonderful uh, fans, beautiful people out there. It's, uh, 
it's it's just really really an, an amazing concept when it comes right down to it that we can do this and and everybody just get together and have a little hop it oh well. um today is american armed forces day so um man i, I hold on wait a second everybody grab your cocktails whatever you got would it be a a cup a can a bottle or just your hand hold it high in the air and and to all of our our service members and and um you know we're gonna we're gonna put all of our, our frontline workers here at home we're gonna put them in this toast here also but you know it, it, when it comes down to armed uh, forces it seems like you know even the nurses got to be armed to go in and do what they're doing these days the way we got to you know take care of them and and um, you know salute them for what they do so I just say all these all the folks out there man that, that put it on the front line so we can sing songs like Freedom Road you know Army Navy Air Force Marines Coast Guard um, Wherever you may be, man, we salute you. And to all of our frontline workers here in the good old U.S. of A., uh, our emergency service workers, our, our firefighters, our nurses, our, our doctors, our, our uh, people who are keeping everything running out there, man, we salute you. We salute you. So give me a hell yeah. Hell yeah. Give me an amen. Nah. Amen. Nah. Throw them back, brothers. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, got my uh, Freedom Warrior back here uh, that was uh, given to me by the folks at, at Folds of Honor. You know, we just love everything that they're doing and how they, um, you know, take care of, of uh, you know, the, the families of serv service members, fallen service members. And, and uh, you know, I just, I'm just completely inspired and moved when I see, you know, people who take it upon themselves to, to do good work, to help and to take care of others. and. Uh, that's a lot of what uh, we're about uh, here at Peace, Love, and the Happy Hour. And uh, well, speaking of that, I just thought maybe I, I should play the 8th of November tonight, man, because you know I know this song's meant so much to so many um, service members out there, and uh, you know get get it get it requested a, a lot. So I mean, I love to play it. So by golly, I want to play it for you. Said goodbye to his mama as he left South Dakota to fight for the red, white, and blue. He was 19 and green with a new M16, just doing what he had to do. He was dropped in the jungle where the choppers would rumble with the smell of napalm in the air. And the sergeant said, Look up ahead. Like a dark evil cloud, 1200 came down on him and 29 more. They fought for their life, but most of them died in the 173rd Airborne. On the 8th of November, the angels were crying as they carried his brothers away With the fire raining down and the hell all around There were a few in left stand that day Saw the eagle fly through a clear blue sky 1965, the 8th of November Now he's 68 and his ponytail's gray But the battle still plays in his head He limps when he walks But he's strong when he talks But the shrapnel they left in his leg He puts on a gray suit over his airborne tattoo As he ties it on one time a year And remembers the fallen as he orders the tall swallows it down with his tears on the 8th of November the 
angels are crying as they carried his brothers away. With the fire raining down and the hell all around, there were a few men left standing that day. So the eagle fly to a clear blue sky. 1965, the 8th of November. Saw the eagle fly through a clear blue sky, 1965. On the 8th of November, the angels were crying as they carried his brother away. With the fire raining down and the hell all around, there were a few men left standing that day. On the 8th of November, the angels were crying as they carried his brothers away. With the fire raining down and the hell all around, there were a few men left standing that day. Saw the eagle fly. To a clear blue sky, 1965, the 8th of November. Yeah, wow, that's a good one. Hey, uh, I got to speak to Brother Niles here uh, just yesterday, as, as a matter of fact, you know. I was uh, in there uh, trying to catch up with all the business there uh, in the morning in the office, and all of a sudden, my phone rings, and it's uh, Brother Niles Harris. And I go, hey, Niles, it's your friend Big Kenny. How you doing? And he said he was doing great. And I know um, that a lot of my friends out there also know Niles. And so, man, a big shout out to Brother Niles. Uh, he's up there in, in Deadwood. He said weather's nice, and, and everybody's getting along uh, pretty well in the midst of everything that's going on in these crazy times crazy times how's niles yeah yep yep cindy pegasus cindy yep he's doing good he's doing doing really good man he says he gets out and walks every day that's something i guess we should all uh discuss here and that is to make sure that everybody is uh getting out and getting some happy under their feet in the morning so this is a public service announcement uh here to make sure that everybody is making sure that, that no matter how much quarantining they have to do that you get out and get a little happy under your feet Get some exercise going because that's what keeps us all rocking and alive right that's extra magic to the to the extra fuel for the reactor for the happy reactor to continue to bring the happy hour to the people you know what in bringing the happy hour to the people i want to show off something we just uh, been working on this is the best way to describe it and i i want to thank you all you know i've been telling you all about this peace love and happy hour thing and about my peanuts and and shirts and stuff and i want to thank you because so many of you have been going to peaceloveandhappyhour.com and checking it out, and uh, that uh, you know we're steady, we're steady getting something going there, and, and uh, you know our, our goal there is to build this thing to support you know uh, not only our farmers there in Virginia who grow these the most deliciously crunchy premium Virginia peanuts in the world, but you know to support all the craftsmen that we love that, that help us make the the products that we got, so we can continue to bring the happy to the people. And um, you know, and the and the love everybody fund, and and uh, you know, that's another one we got to talk about. Is there's people out there that, that when things get all disruptive like this, they can have a hard time just making sure knowing where the next meal is going to come from. And it really requires us all. You know, there's no magic button any government can push and take care of it, or anything like that. Man, it's community. It's really seriously community, and that's why you know I condone all the organizations out there, from the biggest to the smallest, who are working on the the um the issue of making sure all the kids got something to eat um you know the big shout out here to, to operation heartfelt down uh there in in florida who've been you know helping take care of kids and and uh they're they're still at it right now no matter what man and, and they're going to make sure that no matter what disruptions go on that, that the kids in their communities are taken care of too. so anyway uh, here you go this is describes that i want you to, to see the uh the peanuts watch this look we did it give me some music time to kick back a beverage and the perfect snack 
deliciously crunchy, gourmet, hand-cooked, peace, love, and happy hour. Premium Virginia peanuts. Get them in sea salt, unsalted, jalapeno, fiery chipotle, and chili lime. Mmm, I'm talking a good time. Start your own stack. Grab a three-pack. Peace, love, and happy hour.com. Yeah, we did it. So that's pretty cool, right? And, um, you know, got the got the music in there, got the, the peanuts in there. But anyway, thank you guys. And, uh, you know, love you big time. Peace, love, and happy hour.com. Uh, you can find us, and uh, we a- appreciate uh, your support. Um, you know, uh, I thought I would do kind of a, you know, it's really one of the things I've been doing here recently. You asked, like, you know, what's been going on at home, and I ask y'all what everybody's doing. Well, you know, doing this happy hour, like, forced me to stop myself for a minute from all the other craziness and uh, just go, you know what, man? That's a song I've always loved, and, you know, I just, I just kind of like the vibe about it. So I'm, I'm going to stop and slow myself down and, and see if I can sing it. So, you know, there's a, uh, you know, I grew up listening to some 70s rock and roll also. I don't know if y'all know that about me or not, but anyway, uh, you know, I, so I, I work out a lot of mornings to uh, that uh, station on Pandora, the 70s rock station, and I hear this song all the time. It kind of describes a lot, you know, <laughs> and, uh, you know, how I can feel sometimes, how I felt sometimes in my life, and, uh, um, Man, uh, before I even get into this one, I want to shout out to Brother John, man. I know he's been all over the airways here the past couple of days. And, you know, everybody's trying to figure out how to get on with everything in the midst of all this. I mean, we got to just, it's, this is tough decisions, man. And everybody, every day, it's just a different one and another. You know, what is the right thing to do right now and uh, try to be the best for everybody. So I salute everyone that's out there that's uh, working on that. I didn't hear peanut, I heard something else. Peanut, Dorothy Dean, I said peanuts, peanuts. Deliciously crunchy, premium Virginia peanuts. So, um, so that was one of them bands man, out there. You know, I don't know if you know a, a whole lot of other songs from them, but, but th- there was this one called Stuck in the Middle. And it actually made it into a, you know, I hit TV, movie, movie for Reservoir Dogs, which is, oh, but I want hard to watch the whole thing. That's part so I got to be put out somewhere. But uh, there, there's this song called, yeah, by uh, Steelers Wheels, Stuck in the Middle. Yeah. Well, I don't know why I came here tonight. I got this feeling that something ain't right. Cause I'm scared I'm gonna fall out my chair. And I don't know how I'll get down the stairs. Yeah, clowns to the left of me, jokers to the right, here I am, stuck in the middle with you. Yes, I'm stuck in the middle with you, and I'm wondering what it is I should do. It's so hard to keep a smile from my face, losing control, yeah, I'm all over the place. Clowns to the left of me, jokers to the right, here I am, stuck in the middle with you. Well, you started out with nothing. You're proud that you're a self-made man. Yeah. And your friends, they come on calling, slap you on the back and say, please, please. I'm trying to make some sense of it all. But I can see that it makes no sense at all. Is it cold if I sleep on the floor? Cause I don't think I can take any more. Yeah, there's clowns to the left of me. Jokers to the right. Here I am, stuck in the middle with you. Yes, I'm stuck in the middle with you. Yeah, we started out with nothing. Proud that you're a self-made man. And your friends, they come on calling, slap you on the back and say, please, please. Well, I don't know why I came here tonight. Got this feeling that something ain't right. I'm afraid I'm falling out my chair. 
And I don't know how I'll get down the stairs <laughs> Clowns to the left of me Jokers to the right Here I am Stuck in the middle with you Yes, I am Stuck in the middle with you Oh, yeah Stuck in the middle with you Stuck in the middle with you Oh, yeah <laughs> Little Steelers wheel stuck in the middle. Anybody know that song besides me? Anybody ever heard that one besides me? If not, it might be one to add to your reservoir. Matt Keach out there. <laughs> yeah, brother Matt. Good to see you, man. Whoa, awesome. This is insane. How crazy. How absolutely crazy. This is awesome. Cheers to everyone. Wow. I'm so excited about my, uh, our guests coming up here tonight. Uh, Miss Tanya Tucker, I mean, wow, you know, I, I could go back and and uh, just uh, lots of places where, you know, interconnect in, in our life and, and lifetimes and just, you know, a big respect for this crazy, beautiful energy that uh, this this lady, this gal, this, this woman, this amazing entertainer has. And, and so, you know, I was thinking uh, about a, a lot of things and and songs and and uh, uh, you know as a we have a mutual friend and um, this mutual friend was a fellow was a great songwriter out here out of Nashville uh, named Freddie Powers actually Freddie you know lived from Texas and he uh, lived out in uh, in uh, California in Reading with with Merle all those years when they were writing they were they were just at the height of the, their writing out there too and and so we have a mutual friend in in freddie and uh so i was singing to this this song actually this is a song that john and i, I wrote and, and john actually sings it much prettier than than i do but it's just this beautiful uh, song called great escape and freddie was like he john, freddie met john and i right within the first year of john and i meeting each other so we, we met one of the most classic, badass songwriters ever, this fellow by the name of Freddie Powers uh, and Bill McDavid. And back in the day, you know, back in the day, in the beginnings of the, of the times of, of Big and Rich and stuff, we were introduced to him by our manager, Mark Oswald, and his brother, Greg Oswald, who was our agent there at uh, William Morris Endeavor, which big shout out to these guys, man, big shout out to the team. And... Uh, so Freddie was was a big influence on John and I. He had Freddie. You got to check out this man's history too. And and anyway, he the, the he recorded a record uh, there, one of his last full length recordings. And he actually recorded a song that we wrote. And he uh, named uh, the record this. It was called it's called Great Escape. So I'm going to encourage you to go try to search out this record, Great Escape by Freddie Powers. And. Um, Well, I don't need poor drink He's my trouble well, I don't need to buy flamboyant things Make me smile All it takes is a little light Shining from your loving eyes You're the stairway to a place Escape, peaceful ending to a crazy day. All I have to do is see your face, and I slip away. You're my great escape. Sometimes life takes you for a ride. Like a roller coaster, up and down, turns you all around till you've lost your way. But when I feel the world closing in, I close my eyes, and there you are again. You're my stairway to a great escape. Peaceful ending to a crazy day All I have to do is see your face And I slip away You're my great escape 
All my troubles seem to disappear Lost in everything I'm holding dear Forever I will always stay In this perfect place You're my great escape My great escape, Freddie Powers saying "Great Escape," and I, I, I tell you what, man, I just, I just love that song, and I, I want to encourage everybody out there. Freddie was also one of the greatest comedians and and um, magicians of all time. He's a world class banjo player. He brought banjo to the arts out in uh, Vegas, man. He'd have three banjos going at a time. A dude it was amazing, uh, ragtime and swing, and and all these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful voicings of music that he did and uh, it was just just uh he's seriously awesome friend man we miss freddie so here's a here's a toast to uh one of the greatest songwriters ever freddie powers i'm sure he's chasing some around the room tonight up there in the great uh, white way in the clouds yes so anybody um uh, let's check out some comments over here again i like to try to stay connected in this thing and maybe uh do another song or two and, and see what's good action from ontario yeah i was supposed yep bring it on in show let's show them yeah snowbird excellent song you just played yay bk thank you thank you bk playlist yes from the snowbird yeah we're finding them like that just trying to to bring a little bit of something different in and and uh you know, keep the keep the hits going and and the fun times going out. I, I was thinking of um, <clears throat> uh, another one that that uh, this is a song that John and I uh, wrote. Actually, uh, this is uh, pretty back in the day. It, a song called High Five. It was actually John and me and Adam Schoenfeld when we did the Priceless Edge program here. At one of my brothers if that isn't in tune I'm not sure that's actually working doing anything here but we're gonna try that out so Up to the clouds. 
baby, let go. Look at me, I'm dreaming. I just keep a moon on my fire. Look at me, I'm dreaming. I just keep a moon. Here's to giving the moon a high five, y'all. Whoa, we just did it. The moon just got a full-on, a full-on high five. Yeah. Cindy, bringing it on. Coming on. All right, now we are one minute into saying it like it is. You remember the, this beautiful, amazing artist that I want to introduce you all to tonight? I can say so much about her, but I'm waiting wait to get her on here to say it with her on the camera. Tanya Tucker, are you out there? Sister, sister, are you, are you out there? Look, I'm wearing my big Kenny hat. Oh, now I've got to put my ears back in. You like my hat, big Kenny? Golly. Sweet hat. sister, she's there. Yay. My big Kenny hat. How you I'm doing? so uh, happy you're here, Tanya, and that we were able to figure out how to pull this off. And, well, I'm um, not all here, but I'm not all there either. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's so, good to see so you. I was, it's good to see you, sister. It's good to see you. I was um, telling everybody about Freddie Powers. I was telling him that he was a mutual friend of ours. Oh, and yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I, a great, yeah. great, great songwriter, great guitar player. And wow. just a great human being, you know. Yeah. Yeah. When I was, uh, Right, kind of caught the tail end. You know, I've met him with Haggard a few times but years ago. But really, when I got to be really close to him, it's sort of uh, the last uh, year or so he was alive. You know, oh. Second. We were just talking That's about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. That's when Tanya met, met uh, Freddie with Haggard right there. Mm -hmm. Yep, there we go. That's there probably when I met Freddie. <laughs> that was at Madison Square Gardens in New York. Wow picture wow yeah yeah um and it's a great great writer i mean there's a couple of songs i'm oh i'm gotta tap some hostess of i hate yes yes here we go tequila to get me going tequila yes yes let's not let's not waste any time yes brothers and sisters um i did find a, a bottle of this i highly suggest highly suggest everybody find themselves a, a bottle of this we're drinking it straight up here tonight well, you're drinking it straight. I got a little fresh grapefruit in mine, but you got to put it in the freezer, okay? To get it ice cold, take it out, squeeze a fresh ruby red Texas grapefruit, and mix it with a little shot of Costa Sabahe, and you're on your way. Yeah. Hey, yeah, here's or, or uh, just a little ice and a little Costa Sabahe. I love you guys. Yeah. It was great seeing you at the ACM. I got pictures of you and your girl. Cheers. Yes. Cheers. Cheers, sister. So hey. happy to have you here. Well, hey, um, I, I was wondering if um somebody made that really strong. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Oh, yeah. 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 So wild thing. They say that's what that, that that's what that means, right? Woo. Justice of I. It means Wow. I like, I like to eat and drink at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> There, take this. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Get you some peanuts. That's just My, the best with them, right? You know, boom. Some peanuts. Peace love and happy hour. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm writing a song. We should finish a call. Yes. Tonight, I'm absolutely. Happy hour at home. Hey, like that. You know? Yes. Because <laughs> everybody goes out for happy hour. Yes. Hey, so uh, Tanya, would you would you like to? Would, this, that's it. That's happy hour. Since it's happy hour, could you like? Can we just? Would you like to sing us a song? Just kind of yeah. anything that you'd love to just do. Is there a song that you just love to to sing during for as a for a happy hour? Yeah, to gather my boys. Can I gather my boys? He can't hear me very well, and that's unusual. Yeah, gather yeah. your boys. You got a crew out there. I, I can tell that this afternoon. Afternoon, but you got you know, your I, man, so y'all are all just this, the whole family's just y'all are doing the whole quarantine together. 
Well, I won't even tell you. Since someone's yeah. been a couple, but anyway, Craig, my other half, you know Craig Dillingham. Uh, Greg, yes, Sons, singer. How y'all doing? Here, say hi. Come in here. Ryan. Hello. Right oh, there. Kenny, how you doing? Hello, Good brother. Today. Good to see you. There he is. I don't have a hat as cool as you guys. I know. See, I got my big Kenny hat. <laughs> okay, so, so here's so, we'll, we'll do something we don't know. How about that? We'll do something we don't know. <laughs> okay. 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 We're having a, a little bit of a, a lag in our internet there, but we're oh, giving it our best shot, brothers and sisters. We love you. Thank you so much for doing this. But what do you think about all this uh, quarantine stuff? You know, we're having uh, Tanya Teenies right now. Uh, well... I'm not you know, get any rest. I'm hearing about every fourth word that you're saying. So Tanya. what you change that? He's um, hearing every fourth word. It's a, it's a, we've got. We can't. Oh, shit. We need to call up Comcast and ask for more Wi-Fi bandwidth. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, so every fourth word, so I'm not talking. Uh, this, uh, what was I saying about, um, yeah, I have never done so much. Well, I have done a lot of work, but no, I cleaning and doing wash and cleaning the house and, uh, uh, ironing. I mean, I, I have never done so much work in my life, so I need to go back on the road to get some rest. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, right, baby. That is true. All right. Okay. Here we go. And hey, we're gonna we're, we're gonna we're, we're gonna do this perfect. Okay. Ready? And uh, you know, during this time, I'm sure there's a lot of people that are away from their families. Go ahead and start it. And uh, feel really, really, really lonely, especially the ones in the nursing homes that can't see their families. Yeah. Oh, this goes out to them. Yeah. Yep. This is for all the lonely people. Thinking that life is passing by. Don't give up until you drink from a silver cup. And ride that highway in the sky. This is for all the single people. That's us. Making the love is left them dry. Don't give up until you drink from a silver cup. You never know until you try. Well, I'm on my way. Yes, I'm back to stay. Well, I'm on my way back home. Get it. This is for all the lonely people I'm Thinking that life is passing by Don't give up until you I Drink from a silver cup Never take you down Or never give you up Never know until you try. Well, I screwed up a little bit, but you guys did great. Right. <laughs> now I can't hear you, but it sure looks like you're saying something good. 
We got the bandwidth. We got the bandwidth. Is it coming back? Can you hear me? You're back. Yes. That's what the awesome. God dang, she's back again. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) So here's what I want to. I just want to go ahead and go here because I think it's so cool. I just want to show everybody that. Yeah. Yeah. I think we should do a recap. Yeah, I think so too, sister. Uh, hi, I'm Tanya Tucker, and you're still hearing from my ass. Or <laughs> 61. <laughs> Backwards, you know? Why not? Amen. Eight years later. Amen. That's 46 years. With Delta Dawn, I was, let's see, it's been 48. <laughs> so Delta Dawn's almost 50 years. Wow. So yeah. Delta Don, what's your mama's name? San Antonio Stroll, Texas, when I die, just another love. Love me like you used to, strong enough to bend, down to my last teardrop, two sparrows in a hurricane. Come on and bring my flowers now. Do you know what they call that? They call that classic generational badassedness. That's what that is, badassedness. You oh, wow. are categorized in the great category of badassedness. And I and just knowing you you knowing the kind of person you are and having been around you and seeing you when you're just with your friends, when you're making music on stage, when you're when you're caring about the things that you care about, it's just such a you know, just overflowing with, with great respect here. And you know, you you're a you're up bringing and you know kind of how you came into music and your mindset on music your open-mindedness to music that that country music could be inclusive of a lot of other things like we could take all kinds of music and and bring it to our country folks too man we all love it all and yeah, you know so that's that, my whole perception when i was what 20 uh and i did that tnt album yeah I mean, that was my whole thing is i thought you know country music uh, is we're not in, in, we're not down here, you know, the, behind the cart and the horse and cart. You know, I mean, <laughs> our music is is, is uh, it deserves worldwide attention. Yes, and absolutely. Though, you got to entertain, and sometimes, you know, in the past, I mean, it, entertainers, as you know, some of our biggest heroes just stood there and sung. You know, but yeah, I didn't. You know, I. I I, I I didn't do it in the beginning. It sort of developed inside of me. It just started happening when I was around, I think, 17 or 18. And I can't stand still when I'm singing. So I thought that we should entertain people more and move around a little bit, you know? And of course, a girl moves around and it's like, mm, mm, she's being, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, 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 you know. Uh, but I couldn't help myself. And it's just the way I felt when I sang. And I wanted to entertain. I wanted to take country music to another level. And yes. I had the, unfortunately, I had the wrong people. That, that That's just uh, my, my nature, finding the wrong people. Yeah. But Garth, he did exactly what I was trying to do. So I always wow. tell him, hey, you learned. You, 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 you were very successful learning from all my mistakes. <laughs> yeah. We agreed to that. But, but he's a great songwriter. But, yeah, I mean, uh, that's just what I thought. I thought we should take this music to the world. And i tell you how I found yeah, that out. Yeah. One of the reasons I had a good example is I was in Beverly Hills yeah. so, with a friend of mine, and I was having dinner at that Villa Blanca, you know, that uh, Italian yeah. restaurant that's owned by Lisa Vanderpump, who yes. I adore, by the way. And uh, this guy was singing in there, and it was everybody was like over 75, you know. Uh, they were either Jewish or Italian or, uh, li- you know, little rich couples, you know? Yeah. This guy was singing and sounded pretty good, but then I had to go. We had to leave. And I, the only way to leave the restaurant was to go through the uh, the dance floor. Yeah. And they're all in there. They got this circle going, and they're all in there. And the guy's singing my way. Yeah. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to do this. So I just kind of went in there and I thought, well, I'll go around there and I'll get to the other side and I'll go up to my car. When I got in the circle, they he put the microphone in front of my face. And so I just, and yes, 
there have been times, you know, I mean, just went into it. No, regrets, I've had a few, but then again, too few to mention. And I was, you know, I just did the song and, and they, they stopped and it was like, wow. So I went out to, got out, I got out of the circle and went to my car and there were three people following me out to my car saying, you need to be making records, you know, you need wow. to be in this business. And I thought that goes to show you right there that my voice, I mean, it, in that, in, that's all I can speak for is my voice because of my experience, but we can go to another level. We can, I mean, we can do that. Yes. I mean, Willie said it and who would have thought? Who would have thought? Yeah. So yeah. the girls love me far. Oh, traveled in and out the star. Yeah. In and out yeah. of my car. <laughs> but yeah. um, uh, I thought, you know what? That means that I can do a lot of kinds of music because country music is always going to be my first love. Yes. You know that is. You've had a first love, right? Yeah, I got a first love. You're a country girl. I mean, we're we're all we come from the same stuff and country music yeah. is my first love and I ain't yeah. never leaving it. So yeah, when we... I met at TNT, this country DJ, and I won't name the names because he's pretty big, uh, called all the DJs in the country and said to not play that record because I had left country music and I, you know, had turned my back on country music. I was going rock and roll. Wow. Which, I mean, first of all, I can't believe he would take the time to do that. Yeah, <laughs> wow. Uh, and, uh, but it wasn't what I was trying to do. I just thought that, and TNT was not a good example of that. That's not one of my favorite albums. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was my first big, big record. Yes, yeah. So yeah. you kind of got to go between the hype and the quality. Yeah. Well, and you I had like such it. a huge... <laughs> you had a career defining song in Delta Dawn, as yeah. crazy as that is. I mean, the first thing, and anybody's going to know with me, it's hey, slave a horse. You know, with you, it's it's, it's hell, Delta boy. Dawn. Yeah, yeah. I got but, that. But that's awesome. I love that song. I, I've, I've always loved Delta hearing your performance. You made magic with it, you know? God bless uh, Alex. Sorry, we tell those guys to be quiet in there. <laughs> yeah. They're, they're singing in the kitchen in there. <laughs> But uh, uh, Alex Harvey, you know, we just lost him yep. uh, a little bit ago. And I thought, you know, wow, because I'd heard, heard him say that he wrote that song in 12 minutes. Mm -hmm. And I just right then and there, I just thank God. And I said, hold him in your arms, Lord, because those 12 minutes meant a real, uh, I mean, it was, it was my life. I mean, it, yeah. it made my whole Life-changing, yeah. life-defining. And, it, yeah. and it, what I love about Delta Dawn is that it's, it, if I released it or somebody released it, if I yeah. released it today, it would be a hit record. Yes. Yeah, it's classic. It, it just transcends time. And, you know, yeah. that's the kind of songs I'm interested in. Yes, absolutely. And, uh, you know, they, they, they don't come along every day, as you know. No, no, But I've got no. a few in my back pocket back right here. You yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't they don't they don't come around so that's another interesting thing then you know i remember alex i i would see him when i first came here to town in 1994 so that's when i saw i saw you in this town that year also so that's where i like close encounters of of you seeing you excuse me you little whippersnapper <laughs> little whippersnapper yes yeah, and so I saw Alex perform the song at. Um, uh, I can't hear you. I'm sorry. This is we got this delay thing again. Hey, behind me here right. is. You hear that? Wet behind the ears. Say it again. Read my lips. Wet behind the ears. The ears. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if that, I was very wet behind the ears. Yes. <laughs> Back then you were, you aren't now. God love it. God love it. I, was, I was so wet behind the ears. Oh, I can't tell you. Oh, the, I, when I came here, man, I, I couldn't. When I hit this town, sister, I, my mind was blown. I could not believe the things that I saw here. I was like, holy God, how will I ever get to be able to 
do this. And I just started doing it every day. And I, I got up and I wrote songs in the morning. I wrote songs in the afternoon. I, I, I had a band together in three months and we were playing four nights a week. I was just trying, you know, I just tried with everything I had. And then, you know, lo and behold, it was nothing but blessings and getting lucky that I'm even sitting here tonight. Hallelujah. Kenny, I mean, look what you've done, though. Okay, just, I mean, look what you've done. You've really, I mean, in, in a way, done the impossible, you know? Yeah, you, really you have, too. You know, we, we have that in common. Yeah. You never tell somebody else, okay, go do it like this, because it would not work. No. You know? Wouldn't work. It and, don't you know, work. I mean, we, you and I haven't had a whole lot of time to, to hang out, but every time I saw you, it was, it was like I had known you forever. You know? Yeah. I know that yeah. guy. Yeah. And your wife yeah. is freaking gorgeous, and she's, what's Yeah, her my name? wife, she's awesome. But Chris, yeah, she's in here. Yeah. She's been helping me out. Yeah, yep. well. She's kept, I, she put my picture. I, she went and got my picture. Time. Yeah. <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> No. Behind every good man is a great woman. Yeah. Amen to that. Bourbon get, Street Blues I, Bar. I've never That's been a, married. Uh, Bourbon Street Blues Bar. Down That's the a alley. Place, yeah, we've in a, in the alley. We've met. We've uh, you have a, you love that. You love that live that feel. Uh, I, I remember. Yeah. That was one of the first spots I ever ran into you. Um, Bar. Yeah, yeah, Bourbon Bar. Street. Down on Printer's Alley. On Printer's Alley, but Bourbon Street Blues Bar, where you go right into it, and the, the stage, man, the stage is right there built into it. And Man, I saw on you perform Alley. there one night. It blew, that was a mind-blowing experience. I mean, you, you were singing your ass off, man. It was just, uh, you remember. just walked in. You just walked in. You were. You just walked in. You know, it's like you're hanging out because you love the music, and uh, and singing. And I, and it was it a was Barb's. Uh, I was at Barb's. Too. I mean, I've seen you at both of them. I've seen oh, you at both of them. But yep. Barb's was my hangout. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've seen you at both. But that one going. night. Hey, that night. <laughs> <laughs> that was just one night. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Wow, your memory is good. Dude, two Grammys. Two Grammys. You, what's it feel like to win a Grammy? Mm, well, I, uh, it feels great. It's great. Two out of four ain't bad, right? And, uh, you know, up for Song of the Year, all genres was really, really pretty impressive to me. But you know what? I, I'll tell you this. <laughs> is I've never been much on the award thing. Yeah. Uh, I have a disagreement with the Grammys, uh, and I've always had a, a, a problem with them on this. And that is that they don't put our, our categories on the main television show, you know? Well, we're putting them on this show, by God. Er, no, that was earlier in the evening we gave the award to blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Is, we're country, it's country music here. It means our country, US of A. We yeah. just be on national television. Yes. And uh, I just don't agree with that. I'm thankful for the uh, the award because I know that some really special people, uh, you know, voted for me. And I appreciate that so much. But I think we deserve, and I, you know, I'm saying it now and I've always said it. Put us on the, on the main simulcast, okay? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. But... I was really, really very elated about winning. And, but you know what? It wasn't about me. If it, if it just been for me, I probably wouldn't have win. It was about all the people, and there's some of them around me right now. Yeah. It'll work so hard. Yeah. Yep. You know, we don't do this. Scooter, shit. Mandy. Yep. Brandy, uh, Brandy, yes, Brandy and Shooter. Brandy and Shooter Jennings. I mean, uh, those, those are the, the, the two most of the world knows but yeah there's yeah like but then Scott, all your guys your team and, you know, everybody God, that's and uh uh hell uh, even quaid was there that night you know and my best friend hank thompson one of my best friends and um my my boyfriend i hate that boyfriend is a weird word because i'm, I'm 61 i got a boyfriend give me a break but i've known him since i was 13 so 
though. We met when I was 13. So, and it was real special, but people that have, and, and my management, uh, James Garner and um, uh, Sherilyn Sawyer, uh, Jim Zumwalt, I mean, there are so many people that did such and fantasy records. Uh, no. And Jonathan Levine, I mean, he was my, my new uh, uh, agent. And uh, uh, actually, uh, I think I'm going to make a little, little more money. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> quarantine, I'm starting to make a Boing. little more money. And, yeah. oh, this hell. is crazy. This is crazy. So this is like I, the closest I, we... <laughs> Yeah, we've never, we've never, this is crazy times. We've never experienced anything like this in our lifetimes. And, you know, I, I, it's just totally different than anything you can, could possibly ever imagine. So, yeah. what, is there another song? Is there another song, Tanya, before we could talk? I mean, I, I got so many things I want to talk to you about. And but I, do you want to, is there anything you want to play? Oh, I can play anything. I mean, I can't play. Can. Remember, I said, <laughs> learn to play guitar. Uh, yeah. I wish I learn how to play piano. Okay. <laughs> but what do you want to hear? What do I what do I, I, I want to hear? Well, I I think there's uh, two songs. <laughs> I like to hear the you know artists most uh, his, their most comfortable songs. Uh, I can say that um. If you that, could just uh, Kenny could just if I can pick anything. Genie bottle and say. I'd like to hear Tanya Tucker sing this song. What song? Well, well, how about uh, Two Sparrows in a Hurricane? I mean, we can do that. Yeah. If you want it. Yeah. You got it yeah. up, uh, Jake Man? Yeah. Just one second. Okay. They're wiring them up. So tell me while, while they're wiring them up. How about um the, your pink hair? Because I noticed that was something that happened different, and I think that it actually means more to you than just pink hair. Well, you know what? I tell you the 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 the, the, what, the the really great thing about the Grammys was winning for a song that you know I'd had for a long time. You know how you have a chorus and you can't get the meat, you know? Yes. I had the chorus for years, but I couldn't get get the meat, and. Uh, that last day in the session, that last day, Randy walks in and says, hey, T, let's write that idea. And I had forgotten about even singing her the idea. Dude, well, guess what? We just, you just completely changed my mind. And I, get the, I have the prerogative to do that. You just completely changed my mind. This is the first song that you actually wrote on of all of your hits then? Uh, yes. And my dad, I remember my dad telling me when I was, uh, oh gosh, I mean, I was a kid. He said, Tanya, he said, one of the most successful songs you're ever going to have is one yeah. you write yourself. Well, I got to hear Bring Me Flowers now, then I got to hear it. Okay. You got to do it. Well, you you got to do it. Now. And that's that piano, by the way, my dad gave me when I was 17. Nice. Yeah, he did. To our fathers, man. We salute to our fathers. <clears throat> yeah, boy. My dad, uh, you know, well, yeah. Yeah, I'd be, I don't even want to talk about where I'd be if it wasn't for him. Okay, Jake. We'll have another shot of tequila. But I need a little, I like a little grapefruit. Bring my flowers now while I'm living. I won't need your love when I'm gone. Don't spend time, tears, or money on my own breathless body. If your heart is in them flowers, bring them on. All the miles cast a long shadow. I take a couple back if I could. I'd learn to play guitar, tell my daddy more I loved him. But I believe, for the most part, I done good. 
there's always sunrise and rainbows and babies and the little things I cherish on my way. And even though one day they'll bury me and Jesse Ray, I just know we're gonna ride again someday. So bring my flowers now while I'm living. I won't need your love when I'm gone. Don't spend time, tears, and money. My own breath is spot. If your heart is in them flowers, I bring them on. Days are long, but the years are lightning. They're bright and they will never strike again. I wish I'd been a better friend, a better daughter to my. There's no going back when your back's against the wind. So if you've got that, then you're sitting on a gold mine. And you can't take it with you when you go. So don't wait to help your sister. Forgive your brother and your neighbor. We all think we've got the time until we don't. So bring my flowers now while I'm living. I won't need your love when I'm gone. Don't you spend time, tears, and money. My own breathless spot. If your heart is in them flowers, bring them on. If your heart is in them flowers, bring them on. Wow. Wow. So that's got a, a whole lot of real in it to you, then. That, that, that course your dad then it really is some stories about your dad like your dad was a you know i come from a farming background i ran heavy equipment i, I was a carpenter and stuff like that and I understand my tools and I understand your dad he knew about that kind of stuff too right my dad was a uh, third grade education you know from oklahoma and uh, uh, uh he uh, hitchhiked to texas and met my mother at 15 they got married She's 15, and he's barely driving a car. She's got his ring, and he's got the keys to her heart. It's just a matter of time. They'll spread their wings and fly. Like two sparrows in a hurricane, trying to find their way. With a head full of dreams and faith that can move anything. Well, they've heard it's all uphill, but all they know is how they feel. The world says they'll never make it, but love says they will. Yes, my dad was. Uh, um, Thank you. And, you know, everybody's dad did the best, right? Yeah. But my dad uh, met my mother, and they got married at 15. And then they had my brother. They, I think my mother was 19. Then seven years later, my sister, LaCosta. Then seven years later, me. And uh, uh, I pretty much started my life out in Arizona. But my dad was, he wasn't from music. He, had, he took me to Nashville the first time in 67. I was nine years old. And... Uh, 
I've got a lot of stories. We have we don't have man. Time. Yeah, we we, we it was really incredible. But my dad taught me all. My son, Bo Grayson, who's yes. twenty eight now, um, and I. I'll tell you that later too. But I really thought I could help my I help my dad live longer because I wanted him to live longer, and I thought if I had a kid, a boy, and named him after him, that he would live longer, <laughs> and it worked. You know, it worked. But my son on, at home with my my dad and learn how to drive all the heavy duty equipment. He can drive any D8 cat, blah, blah, blah. In fact, he's right now up there on a baling, what do you call that, a hay baler or whatever? Yeah. Yeah, so my dad was a special guy and it's probably why I'm not married because uh, I've never found that kind of a special man. Yeah. Until now. I yeah. have a really, really special yeah. person. Yeah. Greg is great. You know, and I love a man that can do something with his hands and, you know, uh, don't take his Rolls Royce to triple A, you know, and all that. <laughs> I, mean, I like a guy that's a hoss, you know? Yes. So it's been, and I'm not saying that I'm, I'm going to get, ever get married, but I, I think that's a very big step. Yeah. And I, people take it way too lightly, but my yes. parents, they were married for 67 years when my dad passed. You know, so mine too. Yeah. Mine didn't, I don't, it, they're not 67. They made it like 60, well, some, 60 some years. I, I need to go back and my math. Yeah. They, they That's were right. together for a long time. 25 though. They, your parents were together much or earlier in their lives than my, my parents were, but they oh, celebrated no, their 60th. That, okay. First of all, but your parents yeah. still around? No, no, no. I lost both of them here in the past no, I mean, uh, five no, years. I, that too. I mean, where did you go? You know, yeah. where in the world did you go? That's it's crazy. I, I can't hardly even explain that one. But you know, both of mine are they're sitting on my shoulders right now. My parents, oh, I mean, it's oh, like this. Okay. Every time I have three kids, every time I talk to one of them, I hear my dad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now you're getting some of it, you some girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's I want to the biggest regret I ever had or ever will have is that I didn't listen to my dad as much as I should have. And if I would have, you know, things would be a lot different. I'd probably well, I'd say you, I think you've done all right. I think you've done pretty good. I uh, think uh, everything's got worked out. Okay. <laughs> hey, yeah. hey, here's a crazy okay. fact. We both play saxophone. Wait a minute. I played a uh, second chair, no third chair. And there's only two of us. <laughs> No, I don't play. That's another thing. Don't make me regret that too. And sax. If you play sax, we need to do something together. That was my first, my first instrument. I get a, I get a couple of songs. I get a couple of songs I can play. I, I'll actually have to pull it out now. But I, I, I was like telling myself all day. I'm like, well, I should have just got my saxophone and serenaded Tanya. But I'll do it on another show. I'm gonna serenade oh, you one. <laughs> Let's do it. That would be so cool. You know. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's just yeah. funny, interesting facts about uh, you know, uh, life and and all that good stuff. Daniel, well, you know what? I said uh, something to Brandy. I said, "Man, I wish I learned to play guitar." And she goes, "Well, it ain't too late." <laughs> That's it. <laughs> like, I have, right, right? Yeah, my uh, my my youngest son Dakota, he starts playing the piano, and it actually inspired me. And that I'm going, hey, I got to learn to play the piano. So I started playing the piano a little bit, just following him and stuff. And now I, I play a few songs on piano. I'd always wanted to. You can do it. You can do it. That pisses me off right there because my daughter, she comes, Layla, she'll come in and sit down at this piano. And, you know, it's a, you can say, uh, the echo in this room, in this house is, you know, a really great, a lot of echo, probably too much for us right now. But she'll sit down there and start playing. And I go, Oh my God, if I could just play that much, uh, I'd be fine. I'd be happy, you know? Yeah. But she inspires me. She really yeah. does. Look, and my oldest daughter, Presley, I mean, they got some songs that just amaze me. They really do. Amaze. So I think we need yeah. to get our kids together, all of our kids, all the second generation, and put them on damn tour. And yeah. <laughs> we'll be the road managers and shit. <laughs> we'll be the yeah, you know, all we got to do is, man, you know, come out the other end of this quarantine, man. And it's 
it's going to be on fire. It's going to be, it's going to be nuts. It's going to be nuts. There's going to be so much pent up demand. People are just like, <laughs> I can't wait to get out of the house. I got to go see a Tanya Tucker show. Well, I'm, I'm not so, oh, I'd rather see your show than mine, but you know, yeah. uh, that's well, something I like, I've, I've never, I'm good at because you know, Brandy told me, she said, cause I wanted to fix some things. I mean, hello, when you record, don't you fix overdub something? Okay. Yes. I didn't get, yes. I didn't get, no, no fixing nothing, you know? And, uh, I thought, well, there's a, okay. We'll take, is there a money problem? Cause I, it's only going to take me an hour. <laughs> I'll get all the fixes I need done, and I'll be done. We'll be out of here. And she, she said, well, she goes, I want you to look at it like this. She goes, this is the way she wears her hat. Hey, T. Like, you know, me, I'm like, hey. But she says, think about it. This, this album is not about Tanya Tucker, the entertainer. It's about Tanya Tucker, the singer. Flaws and all. And I went, well, you know what? That made sense to me, Kenny, because entertainer you know you you want everything just right you got to have that okay elvis wants it i'm the king of the jungle they call me tiger <laughs> you know you gotta have that strobe light for just that few seconds and you want everything perfect yes right yes uh well you know i'd never be perfect but it, uh, uh the thing is is i i understood that I, yeah. she has a way of talking to me and tech and talking me into stuff like house that built me no i ain't cutting that no no i ain't singing that mm -mm. i'm not gonna be caught loitering around the microphone because miranda has already done it and she there's nothing it. i can bring to that yeah know? uh and uh she taught me into it i think i was 47 takes on the first line <laughs> i don't know no probably not you know but anyway so then i've gotten to become really great friends with frank liddell and 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 law you know leanne Womack. yes that. She is like, oh. and how do I not meet those people and hang out? I mean, I've never met them. Yeah. You know, I, I met Frank uh, back during my early publishing days. Cause I, I was, uh, you know, I got signed in 95, the year I got here, but end of that year, I, I had me a publishing deal. It's where I at least got to hang out in that crowd. And that was a lot of what really helped me build my, my career was writing, writing, writing every day and, and frank, frank was frank hey, was hey. back there hanging out with us then so i met him back very early in my uh, years in nashville i yeah. never met him yeah it's because you were probably out you you were touring you were out working you were out going oh. at it it's so hard to that's a whole different experience of being on the row every day and being out on the road every day you know uh, the row in the road greg's frank's best friend i mean they're, there they're you go each other forever. there you go she had that picture we could show him. Right? Yeah. But he said when he got to yeah. Dallas before yeah. that he tell him. Yeah. Frank and I shared some good times, you know, just when I when I got my, my publishing deal back in the, the mid nineties and ninety five. So he was down there working in music row. I remember when they started up their publishing company and Carnival. And, um, yes. Yeah. Carnival. And uh yeah, yeah. I mean there's so many great, awesome folks up and down the row, music row of Nashville that are involved in all aspects of this uh, industry. And I can think now that even as our, you know, our touring business and uh, the live world has kind of got shut down in this whole way, there's this whole other industry out there that is still writing songs and creating songs that are going to move people and change people's lives, no matter how we got to get them to them and, and deliver them to them in this, you know, newfangled world that we're living in. So, you know, God bless all them writers out there and all the people that support the writers and all that. What a world, man. Yeah. What, a what a world. A, what a world. Yeah. And if yeah. during this time, you know, I mean, it's, I'm thinking, oh, hey, really, we need to be writing songs every day, every day, every day. Yeah. But, I mean, I just, my creative level's kind of been like. Mm. Yeah, at a different place. So yeah. I need to play saxophone and I'm going to get really inspired. Well, I'm thinking of something else. I want to leave with some inspiration here because, you know, you were known as the outlaw queen, man. I mean, the first. You 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 brought forth a whole, just a whole vibe that we even got to, like, be inspired from as the music mafia. And when those days came and, and you know, from, from all the artists that came flowing out of that, just like the whole group of outlaws that you hung out with at such a young age. You know, you started out so early and Gretchen started. I can remember Gretchen saying to me, I'm 30, I'm 28 years old. No one's going to, going to, 
you know, pay attention to a woman coming on a scene at 28 years old, but it's a whole different thing, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, but yeah. uh, so here's yeah. my 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 yeah. concept is that uh, you got that if you if you ever wanted to do like an outlaw album sort of a concept, if you wanted a couple, you know, uh, fellas to sing with you, I know uh, uh, these two fellas go by Big and Rich. They probably go on John Rich. <laughs> Kenny, yes, no John Rich, okay. <laughs> oh um, man. Yeah. I'm shitting you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I love you so much, Tanya, and and thank you so much for taking the time, you know, and and uh and hanging out with me. I know that our fans, we got fans tonight watching it on on uh, my Facebook, on the Big and Rich Facebook, on the Tanya Tucker Facebook. There's fans all over the world. I've seen people from countries all over the world sitting here watching this and getting to know a little more about, you know, you, Tanya, and a little bit about more about Kenny and 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 uh you know I, I, I just I love you. I love you. I love you. I love your spirit. I I, I love your talent. I just have just such a big respect for you, man. And, and I'm so happy to see you in this happy place. And I'm happy to see me and, and, and here just just having a, a, a time like this with you. And it really does make it peace, love, and happy hour without a shadow of a doubt. Well, I want to thank you for your pool that day. I got to go out and hang out by your pool while you're gone. And because uh, I ain't going to pool, you know, just <laughs> any pool. But nobody was there. Nobody's there. I'm you can right. come. Thank it's you. a. It's a quarantine-approved pool, so you can come over anytime you want. By the way. Yeah, and you got horses. I'll come ride you a quarantine-approved horse, and you come to the quarantine-approved pool. I love your house and your studio and all that. I mean, you're – and he's a lens – you know, I told you about he's a plant guy. He loves gardening. Loves right plants. Now. I love plants. And I love – The thing is, is that um, uh, I am uh, – I'm just uh, – I'm just proud to matter. You know, it's good yeah. to matter. It's good to yeah. matter. But let me tell you, uh, I've always felt a good, 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 good feeling with you. Oh, well, I felt like I've known you for a long time. And, you know, you've opened your home to me. You, you know, you, uh, not that I've asked a lot, but, <laughs> but I'm telling you this one thing. I'll end with this. You never know till you test somebody if they love you or not. Yeah. Bring it on. Yeah. Yeah. Bring it on. Absolutely. Well, I love you, sister, and it's so wonderful to be able to, to spend uh, this time and love to have you and Craig come over. And, and the kids, sometime when we get through all this craziness or we need to get on the quarantine schedule, we can do it, man. We can make it happen. Love you so much. I'm so I'm happy, so happy to see you. <laughs> <laughs> Call for a good time. All for a good time. All for a good time. Let's say bye to all the good people out there. We love you guys. Thank you so much for being here for Peace, Love, and Happy Hour. God bless y'all. Until next week, same bat time, same place. Let's do it again. Yeah. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> it's a bye. There you go. Woohoo. Get you some. Served right here at the Pub of Love. Woohoo. Yeah. Love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. God bless you. Big Kenny over and out from the Pub of Love. See you next time. Yeah, yeah.